Hey guys, it's Lightning Flash here. I am here with my cousin, known here on YouTube as Green Tea Guns. What's up, guys? And today we are going to be butchering my Cornish Cross chickens. They're about 11 weeks old, so a little over what they're supposed to be, but they're big, hefty birds. So, as without further ado, let's get into this. All right, guys, this is your last time seeing the Cornish Cross chickens before they head off to the freezer. We've got some really big jumbo Cornish Cross chickens here, and that one has a feather in its mouth. But they're, they don't know what's about to happen, but it's been nice having them. They've been a nice bird to raise, but it's time to make them hit the freezer. All right, so we're gonna fire up the, um, the chicken stove thing. Big old Bunsen burner. All right, so get it turned on and let's get this started. All right guys, so we got our pot starting to heat up. We're gonna go ahead and get started butchering the chickens. guys so we're gonna hang the rooster upside down the reason you want to hang him is because all the blood slows down and he's relaxed it's better than the old-fashioned way where you just whack their heads off and then they flop around and they may bruise the meat this way no meat is bruised just hopefully this little rope holds him so now I don't know if I have the strength to do it get him up here in this try to get around him I think so. Do you need any help? Possibly. Oh, he's heavy. Is that going to hold him? Good. He's kind of backwards, though. Just twist yep. him around. Hopefully. Yeah. There we go. Okay, guys, we got him hung up. He's kind of spinning around, just chilling right there. They are more relaxed this way. Like I said before, that's why we do it this way, hanging them upside down. And also, they don't bruise the meat as I said before. So, well, it's almost time for his last moments. I don't do this just to have fun killing the animals. I do this because this is how it, you have to do it to get the meat. You have to kill them. It's not like you can't. And all meat that comes from stores was killed. So don't complain about it being killed because that's what the, these animals are here for. And the Cornish Cross meat bird, as you know, will have a heart attack or break its own legs because of how big it can get. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so what he's gonna do is take the chicken's head, like this, and he's gonna cut at his throat right here so he doesn't feel any pain and he's dead instantly. Then you'll have to hold him for a second so he doesn't flop out of his little noose thing for his legs. That's just kind of nasty right there. Uh, so, he'll just have to take his neck and, and yeah. You guys probably know the rest because a lot of you have probably seen this before. We're not, I'm not gonna show the kill because I, there's people that'll come here just to look at that and that's not the purpose of this, so. Next time you see him, it'll be time for me to dip him in the in the pot to get rid of his feathers. So, all right. So my cousin here is going to do the do the honors. Yeah. So this is my first time doing this, so hopefully we don't have any problems with it, and it'll be a smooth process. All right, guys. So here we have our chicken. He's ready to be dipped in. Hopefully this isn't too small of a pot. Got to dip him in there for about 30 seconds. So someone time it. You got it. Get him in there. Take the and kind of just shake him around for a little bit. The water is going to get really nasty after this. You don't want it too hot because you might burn his um, skin, and the skin's like a really good part of the meat. If you like chicken, gonna hold him in here for a little bit. I'm guessing around maybe 13 pound bird. 
Not sure though. About not as heavy as by green tea. About as heavy as our dog, maybe. He's like a Pomeranian mix with a pug, so. What's the time at now? That about 10 seconds. All right, I'm gonna pull him on out and. Think he's ready? Uh, a couple more seconds. Try again. All right, I think just a couple more seconds. All right. Okay guys, so basically all of us are gonna go at this and we're gonna just start picking off feathers. I already did half it because I was waiting for my brother to actually get the thing tied up. So let's get into this. These legs look as big as turkey legs. <laughs> Some of these wing feathers. May have to dip them again for some of these to let up. Um, big problem I'm having is his stomach feathers were almost already gone, so they're all broken off. So just the nubs are in there. Might have to take tweezers and go through and get the nubs off. Nice and meaty. Be way easier with a yard bird plucker. All right, guys, we got him out here. Now we got most of the feathers off. I'm just going to cut the feet off first and we're going to get into this. So I believe you take it back here like this. I think it's like right here at this joint. Right there, I think. Watch your fingers. Okay. That's how you do it. I did cut myself a little bit. Good. Yeah, definitely don't take your cutting skills from my cousin. <laughs> All right, guys, so he is basically done. We're just going to now, we're going to rinse him off, and he's going to head to my grandma for final inspection. Yeah, there might be a little bit of stuff to do, but I got all the guts out. So I guess that's it, and soon we're going to get into another bird. All right, guys, we are to the second one. I'm a little bit rusty, so that took a while. We got a nice female hen here. Um, she's getting ready for what's to come. She's... <laughs> Very big. Very angry. Yeah, she's not happy. He took it better than she did, but I think she saw him when we brought him up. So maybe she knows what's happening. I don't know, but we're going to make this as painless as possible. So yeah, I bet these birds are probably eight pounds. They're, they're huge. Okay. I'll see you guys once we're done. All right, guys, we got the chickens done. We, we did, did three chickens today. We had to skin one because um, it ripped. The skin ripped when we were... When we were plucking it, so I meant it's, it was much easier to just skin that one. And it made the process faster. Then we vacuum sealed them. Vacuum sealed the three. It went pretty well. The rooster was pretty hefty. He was about eight pounds. The one hen was seven and a half. And the smallest one was like five and a half. Which, because we took the skin off. And I cut the ends of the um, wings off because just the feathers were pain in the butt to get off. So it, it was a pretty good process overall. I would like to thank my brother, my grandma, and Green Tea Guns, which I'm going to make to the outro. All right. All right, guys. So like you said, I'm doing the outro. Um, this was definitely a new experience for me, but it was a lot of fun. So thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you... Please make sure you subscribe, comment, like, recommend this to other people, whatever you want to do, and just keep it electrified.